Well, hello again to all the boys and girls out there in YouTube land watching. Georgia Beer Reviews back at you today with another one. And what I've got today is the Almond Joy Stout from Pipe Dream Brewing Company out of London Dairy, New Hampshire. This is another beer courtesy of Bumpy Road Brewery. Uh, he does great craft beer reviews and homebrew videos. Uh, his link will be in the description below. Definitely go check out his channel. If you like beer reviews, you'll probably love his channel. So thanks, Bumpy, for this beer. I love the artwork on the label. It looks like an old video game, classic video game. Um, <laughs> you see the lives up there, and they're all beer mugs. Um, anyway, there is a little bit of a description on the label. It says this smooth... Full-bodied stout balances flavors of toasted almonds, creamy coconut, and rich chocolate in a way that is reminiscent of a beloved sweet treat in liquid form. Enjoy responsibly, for this brew is not for the faint of heart. I have to say, I'm a big, I'm not a big candy guy, but I do love coconut, and Almond Joy and Mounds are some of my favorite <laughs> candies. So uh, I think if this tastes as good as I think it's going to be. Uh, I'm going to be very, very happy with it. Um, it's 10% alcohol by volume, so definitely in the Imperial Stout category. Let's go ahead and crack it open, give it a pour, see what we're working with here. All right, nice beige, creamy looking head. As you can see, the appearance is pretty much black. Can't really see through it very much. You could say very, very dark brown, but definitely looks black on camera there. The aroma. Mm, definitely picking up on that coconut. Some nice dark chocolate notes. A little bit of milk chocolate and vanilla in there as well. Oh, man. I love coconut beers. I was just drinking uh, some of the Death by Coconut by Oscar Blues the other the other day. I bought a growler of that at a local growler shop in, here in Noonan. And uh, I love that beer. Getting a lot of uh, similar aromas on this one. The coconut is very prevalent. Very upfront with the coconut, which I like. And it's a natural coconut aroma. It smells very good, very fresh. The chocolate notes are nice as well. Not really picking up on any breadiness with this one. Um, probably on the palate I'll pick some of that up. But definitely just coconut, chocolate, little vanilla, little caramel. That's pretty much it on the aroma. Definitely smells like a dessert beer. So without further ado, let's get to this brew. Cheers, guys. Mm. The coconut is the first thing I'm picking up on. Then some of the milk chocolate and dark chocolate, along with that vanilla and caramel sweetness in the middle of the sip. There is some roasted character, some roasty toasty notes, some nice um, dark roasted barley malt notes in the form of toasted bread. Um, very nice, definitely let you know you're drinking a beer. So once you get through that initial sweetness, that Almond Joy flavor profile, you do get the bready, roasty, toasty notes in the middle of the sip. The mouthfeel is pretty smooth. Uh, the head, as you can see, has died down relatively quickly. So the carbonation with this is not the best. It's more on the low end with the carbonation. I would have liked that head to stick around a little bit longer, but it is 10% alcohol. So when you get up there with the ABV, you can't necessarily expect the head to stick around that long. Um, it's a very delightful beer. And did I mention there's absolutely no alcohol burn or flavor, no booziness whatsoever with this one. It's It drinks like a sessionable stout. Um, very, very creamy, very velvety, like I said. The finish is refreshing, creamy. Um, definitely not a dry finish <laughs> like you get with lagers, pilsners, um, that sort of thing, even a lot of L's. This is definitely more of a wet finish. 
it's really good. If you like coconut, I mean, if you've ever had an Almond Joy candy uh, bar or the little Almond Joy, the little small ones are the ones that I'm familiar with, um, delicious. It, it tastes just like that with the beer, the bready notes in the middle to let you know that you're drinking a beer. But other than that, it's like an, it's liquid Almond Joy. It really is great. And being the big coconut lover that I am, I think this is absolutely delightful. My only complaint is that it's kind of flat. The carbonation is lacking with this one. But overall, I think this is an excellent beer. Um, I'm going to go with a 96 out of 100. It's a solid A. Getting up there. Uh, towards world class, but not quite there. The lack of carbonation kind of um, drops at those few points, but the flavor is on point. The alcohol is masked exceptionally well. It's definitely malt forward. There's no bitterness with this one, but you do get those nice roasty, toasty bread notes in the middle of the sip. So if you're looking for more of a balanced beer, uh, this one might not be for you because like I said, there's no bitterness to balance it out on the finish. It's malty all the way through. But it's an excellent beer. I highly recommend it if you live in the New Hampshire area or anywhere where Pipe Dream Brewing products are sold. Definitely look for and check out the Almond Joy Stout. It is a real treat. Thanks again to Bumpy Row Brewery for sending me this. I really appreciate it, buddy. So 96 out of 100, that'll do it for this beer of you guys. I hope you're all having a great day. And until next time, everybody, cheers.